video on how to use the Kirby shampooer. Now, I originally was going to do a uh, kind of a tip on selecting shampoos, so I'm going to make this a two-part deal. So the first part, I just want to get that out the way, uh, show uh, uh, people how to use the Kirby shampoo, how to assemble it, and how to get the best out of it. Um, and then uh, the second part, if you stick around for the second part, we'll show you how to select uh, the kind of shampoo you want to use for your house. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, let's get started, right? So let's see, you bought a Kirby shampoo, probably looks like this, maybe you have an older one. Uh, they're all pretty much the same, okay? Uh, basic, because it's still a belt-driven machine. You still have to turn the belt lifter to engage the belt, then uh, attach it to the Kirby. Uh, and then um, there's, uh, there's a few components that are just similar in all the Kirby shampoos, okay? Here's, here we go, you have a tank, Okay, and if you bought it from a representative or, uh, you know, maybe if you bought it from a friend of yours or something, it may come with or without the box. So, at least I want to show you how to assemble it first and then how to hook it up to the machine, how to use it, all right? So, here we go. Now, these are very important components, all right? You have a sponge filter and a mesh filter, all right? Now, this is what happens. Uh, I've had customers who come in and they said, man, I try to use the machine and then, uh, man, the water just flush right out. And so, the moment they mention water flush right out, I know that something is going on with the mesh. Now this would happen sometimes. The mesh would be stuck in here like this, okay? And uh, the water would pass and wouldn't go through the mesh and then you just have water. Now if you're using maybe a, a Hoover or a Bissell, then yeah, that's, that's supposed to happen. Water is supposed to flush through. But when, it, when you're using a dry foam shampoo like the Kirby, it's supposed to be foam. So what happens is the soapy water would hit the mesh here, if it's secured properly, and then the mesh, it'll turn into foam, okay? So that's what you should be seeing, number number one, all right? Uh, this sponge filter is important because it stops uh, carpet debris and, and dirt and things like that from getting into the tank and clogging up the, uh, the, the tube here, okay? Now, you have your Kirby shampoo and, uh, and your, your tank and tray. Now, this is the part that seems to really dazzle a lot of people, okay, and really get confusing. Uh, let me just show you, uh, I've seen it hooked up a few different ways. I've seen this on the hair like that. So this is really what it's supposed to look like. If you look at both of these, there are two ends. One is a little bit bigger than the other, all right? And uh, you notice the shape, okay? So just kind of fit it in based on the, the shape, okay? All right, and, uh, and just kind of fit it in this way. Uh, kind of that V shape or that U shape, all right? And you slide it right in, all right? If it's, if it's already taken apart. And then, this is the top, okay? And your guard is supposed to go over the brush, not under, okay? So you just slide the guard in like this, yeah? Okay? And so that's your, your brush, your tray, your guard, your belt, all right? Now you attach your head, and you can start it from the starting point, which is uh, on green, right? And then, let's engage the belt, all right? So we're gonna turn it all the way to red, or orange or whatever color you want to describe this and if you look inside it should look like that the belt is uh, connected all right so that's that all right so now you have your all your components in place your belts engaged your Kirby is here uh, your tank is here I'm sorry and your your hose is here so what do you do here we go uh, let's use this okay let me kind of take this to the side the head is already off the bag comes off, put your hand underneath into this little holder right here and pop the bag off. All right, and now we're gonna line up. Here's my little pointer, here's my pencil. Did I drop it? All right, here we go. You're gonna line up and kind of narrow in here a little bit, man. man, uh, man. This notch with this little notch right here, that's probably the easy way. I've seen a lot of people fight with this. So if you just line it up like this and push the back in towards the curb, bam, snaps right in. No problem, all right? So now, you put your, your head on, lock it, and then you turn, turn it back to green. Now here's a good way to check. If you push down on this, and it comes off, then it's, it's on wrong. It should snap right back, so you're good, all right? So, here you go, and you have your, your meshes on, so you slide your, this side in here, and if you notice, it's color coded, so it kind of reminds you that this goes where that color is and this goes where that is, right? And it's connected. So if you need to kind of look over this part of the video again, feel free. Uh, but that's 
pretty much the basics. So I'm going to hook it up again with another shampoo because this one I'm going to use to shampoo. Uh, this one I just, just uh, wanted to show you, okay? I couldn't resist showing you this other one because this is my personal favorite. Look what I did to it, huh? That's what happens when you put an artist in a vacuum shop. They start drawing all over the vacuums, right? This is my transformer one. <laughs> so, here we go. All right, so we're going to take this apart, take the bag off. This bag got sun damage here, but it's fine. This is in the, in the store window. All right, and uh, let me see. Did I have the belt engagement on this? All right. All right, so let's hook up the other one that we're going to put on, all right? Here we go. So this is the, uh, the diamond version. Pretty much the same thing. The belt is already engaged. I'm going to hook it up like that. This is the one we're going to use to shampoo, okay? All right. Voila. And same thing. I'm going to line up the notch and slide it in. The mesh is already on, and I'm just going to connect this to there. And voila, right? Okay, so now let's get this all plugged in, and I'm going to show you how to shampoo, okay? All right.